Retail in particular is certainly the, let's, let's call it the hot, hot favourite. Um, it's broken down into two clear categories, prime, dominant, key, big major cities. And we've seen those transactions from Manufactura, Salesia City Centre, and that's core German money chasing that. Some of that core German money is partnered though with um, like Ginkgo Tree on Salesia, so there's Asian capital. Um, and they often then partner with an experienced asset manager. So ECE are brought in on certain acquisitions. Poznan City Centre, which we acquired on behalf of Resolution, again partnered with ECE. So the core money, German capital, together with some Asian capital, is targeting big prime city centre retail. Then if you go to the other end, into the smaller, smaller cities, smaller towns, there are new investors looking now for smaller lot sizes. Um, we see there are opportunities in those smaller cities, but you have to be very careful, as I said this morning. It's a big if in terms of what is a competition, what new supply may be coming in. If you can find a town where there isn't that new supply, there isn't that new competition, and you've got a dominant center, then there is good, I wouldn't say large amounts of capital, but there's a handful of players looking specifically for that asset. Um, then if you want another third category is the, the value add retail. Roll your sleeves up, get dirty with the asset, play the tenant mix, repositioning, refurbishment, changes to the car park extension. So there's, there's very good opportunities there. Again, hard to find them, but there are, that's where there is the good opportunity. There is yield compression there, because you can buy at a nice increase over prime yield, say eight, eight and a half percent, and you can work the asset, you can bring income growth as well as uh, yield compression.